This is a fan-based parody. Star Wars is owned by Disney. Please support the official release. If you want to stop slavers, Tatooine might be a good place to start. Good! I'll go! I want to kill them! Kill all those slavers! What is this guy doing? Mark Claw is disturbed by this man. He wants to kill him, but he resists. No offense, but you don't look like the most peaceful individual. Ha 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 ha! But... Oh, didn't you hear me before? I said I'm gonna free you! Okay. I'm not sure this is sanctioned by the Rebel Alliance, so... Uh... DO IT! <laughs> okay. Landing PP! Last time on Weekend Star Warriors. Gotta say, this is the most I've liked you since we met, but also, you take a little too much pleasure in those descriptive, violent descriptions. That was redundant. A lot of people lose their limbs around you. Yeah. Kind of thing. Sometimes, sometimes they're people dead. People that, sometimes they're, uh, well, that they're not from limb. the bag already. <laughs> yeah. I usually feel like they deserve it, the people that... Oh yeah, unequivocally, no question. Just getting rid of. He gets <laughs> really into those gory descriptions, yeah. that's all I'm saying. I'm just you know, I'm just process. It's a lot to process. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. No, you really made a shot hanging from the side of a tower? Yeah. Insight check. You have so no I idea. Can... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I can't tell if you're telling the truth or not. Nope. <laughs> you're not going to defend your honor or anything? You, you want me to offend my honor? Defend with a D. <laughs> I'll let you guys ponder on that. <laughs> no, keep going! You started like a cliffhanger, man! So, yes, you started a revolution, and then you decided there was more to do? Yeah, it, like, yeah. it sounded like you were wrapping up, and then you were. Yeah, it was I thought I was done, but I said no. Oh. There's still more work to be done. Which means there's still more story to get through. Yeah. Oh. oh. So... <laughs> <laughs> so, if you didn't like the coriness before, strap That's in. That's white. Uh, so I got one. I'm excited for the rest of this story. Yeah, Liliana, you're like drooling a little bit, and I'm a, frankly a little Struck. concerned. Struck! <laughs> With what? Row, With what are we struck with? Four! Oh! <laughs> Please hurry up before they start singing again. Alright, so this is what uh... Welcome to Weekend Star Warriors. Well, perhaps that signal device that your colleague in the Y-Wing had might be able to... Disrupt the... The restraining bolts on all of these other ones. I call her in. <laughs> I need your air support. My location. I need, I need you to disrupt using the... Do get you my bomb. I don't know what this thing is called. She flies by. Roll for communication, whatever. Is that her? Yeah, because she's pretty far away. I want to see if your radio works. Mechanics then? Yeah, I guess. All right. Two plus two is four. Got it. Airstrike on your location. Coming in. She swoops in, fires, and... <laughs> oh, I can't wait to see what happens! <laughs> and she blasts into the side of the sand crawler and strafes past them. They are all screaming around. I'm looking confused. I'm looking <laughs> side to side. I'm seeing this thing get hit. Is it in flames? Or it's did smoking, it just, it, but it's, it's smoking. It pretty just bad a hit? hit. Okay. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, I'm going to roll for... I'm just going to say that this six is your good luck. Mm, no. <laughs> <laughs> or uh, the droid's good luck. All right. <laughs> That's not my good luck. One of the Jawas drops the restraining bolt control device. Uh huh. He snatches it up. Now, is it <laughs> Z3? Z3, okay. yes. And suddenly all of the droids start running in random directions. Fantastic. <laughs> and he drops the device, acts all innocent, and whispers to you, I told the restraining bolts to instruct them to all run in random directions and then release and uh, allow them to go wherever they want. Okay. Is that close to my feet or no? Yeah. The remote? Yep. Now, are we standing on sand or is it a hard... Like, sand. Sand? Can I crush it with my foot? Sure. I do it. Okay. <laughs> you crush it. Smashy! Smashy good! <laughs> good smashy! You smashy good... And they continue to walk. All right. <laughs> All right. So we then get on our speeder bikes and we go deal with the Tuscan Raiders now that the Jawas are dealt with. Mm -hmm. okay. You hear Adriatica over the air. Do you need me to come back for another pass? 
Nah. Go towards the Tuscan. Want me to blow it up? Yeah. Okay. No, wait. There might be people in there. Hold on on that. Hold Just on. be ready. Okay, I'll uh, go back into low orbit. Be okay. hanging around. Yeah, I want to make sure that there's people in there, and then we don't just nuke the thing, okay. you know, and then, you know, kill innocent people. Mm -hmm. That would make me feel bad. Yeah. No, it wouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so are any of those droids willing to help me, and if they are, are they any of them good for surveillance? The Treadwell pipes up and says that he has 200 times optical zoom. Excellent. All right, I talked to Tucker. Mm -hmm. I ask him, which do you think is the best route to try to go in? Now that we won't be able to go in with a Bantha and try to offer it as a gift. I think they should remember a big black Wookiee who brought them a Bantha. They, they, I think they will let you in. Z3, take your droids and go around. Wait for our call. We're going to walk in and maybe do some diplomacy. Okay. <laughs> So he hides with uh, himself and the Treadwell. That's mm -hmm. the only one that was able to okay. show up. They lie down prone. At least he does. Treadwell is up with his little binoculars staring. They watch you go on in. Okay. So me and Tucker are in. As we go in, we start looking around camp, seeing if there's any prisoners around. Okay. There, there aren't any. No? None? Nope. Okay. And the chief is calling for you. He's angry that you're just spending time willy-nilly around his camp. Oh, okay, we'll leave. Okay. So we already did a good route of... But he still wants to talk to you. Because... Oh, he wants to talk to me. Yeah, because he wants to know what your progress on killing the huts is. Oh, okay, I'll go talk to him and do a mm -hmm. progress report, you know. It's like we're still fighting the good fight, so you know, we tell him, you know, we're fighting the good fight. How are you guys doing? I told you to attack the palace, but you guys went after the boats. Why? They killed my son. Are you going to get back at them? You should. And he says something to Tucker. <laughs> Tucker translates back and forth. He says that he managed to disable the barge, but they had some air support that came in and ferried the fat ones away. <laughs> Did you kill the rest? Yes, they, they killed the rest. Excellent. Well, Tucker wants to say something, but thinks better of it because okay. you're around Tuscans. Okay, so I pick up on this. Okay, well, now that we know that they went onto the sails, mm -hmm. or on their sail rafts, or whatever they're called, we have to change our strategy. I'm going to go back and talk to the army I just acquired. We'll see what we can do. And then we walk out of the camp. And then I call in for that air support. She pipes up. Uh, yes, you want me to blow something up? Blow these mothers out of the existence of Tatooine. Um, aren't there, like, women and children there? They're willing to whip people after kidnapping them as their right of warriorhood. Blown up. Got it. <laughs> okay, she goes in, releases a series of bombs. Now, are we out of the way, though? Because I don't want to die. Oh, yeah, you're out of the way. <laughs> you're just out of the range. Me and the droids and also Tucker. Don't yep. forget Tucker. She drops what seem to be normal bombs, but they turn out to be massive incendiary bombs. Which... Let those burn! <laughs> and... She says, uh, apparently there was a message here from someone named uh, Mr. Squeak. He says that uh, this was a gift for you, these uh, new bombs. I didn't realize they were installed. He's, uh, I'm happy. If, so did you use one or two? Four. Oh, okay. She has some left over. Oh, good. Don't use the rest. Let it burn. The right. fires will cure. <laughs> I'm just causing fire everywhere. <laughs> Okay, so where do you want to go? <laughs> hmm. Hmm. How you, do I set the huts on fire? <laughs> well, you could do this pretty quickly, just telling her to go in and bomb the huts, but then you wouldn't get the personal satisfaction, and plus there might be some slaves in the hut palace. This is true. I need extraction at my location now. Okay. She uh, expertly pilots in and lands. Okay, so there's only room for one. Right. Yeah, let's just say that, well, you must have had some way to get there, so let's All say right. that you stole a couple uh, EOPs. They're those little camel things that poop a lot. Oh, wonderful. And you just let Z3 take those back. Mm -hmm. so. so Okay, so I'm going in then by myself. Okay. Sending Tucker with the droids back to town. Drop me from high above! <laughs>
Well, uh, roll for something. Okay. About average. About average. <laughs> Let's say that you have been practicing in an old, old Wookiee tradition of making a hang glider. Ooh. Parasailing through the big trees of Kashyyyk. Mm-hmm. So, Adriatica is uh, piloting, uh-huh. and she says, uh, what's the plan? Do you want me to shoot? Do you want me to drop you off? Do you want me to come in with you? It's a drop-off. Okay. And I need to make a hang glider. How would I make a hang glider? Well, I'm just saying that you might have been practicing earlier, and you do have one folded up. Oh, okay then. Okay. So if uh, I got one, I'm ready to go. <laughs> Keep... That's a good distance. She looks back at your folded hang glider. Mm-hmm. Uh, are you sure that's going to work? Yeah! Woo! <laughs> okay, so <laughs> as she's flying over, you pop the canopy, mm-hmm. leap out. <laughs> you didn't think. <laughs> uh, acrobatics, agility. Okay. <laughs> and here we go. <laughs> Okay, you you uh, glide mm-hmm. and glide, and then you realize you're actually pretty much plummeting. Yeah! <laughs> Can I try to readjust my shave? Yes. I readjusted myself. <laughs> okay. Well, plus agility is five. It manages right before you hit the ground to swoop up, and now you're going at like 60 feet per second and right towards the blasted open entryway. There is a very ugly male pink Twi'lek looking up at you, staring with its jaw wide open. And go ahead and roll again, see if two plus two is four. (laughs) He dodges out of the way as you come crashing. You tuck and roll and come up in a fighting stance. Uh There are a pair of Gamorians, the big pig people. Oh, okay, okay. They are armed with vibro axes. I swing at them! Well, they're a little too far to swing at right okay, now. Okay, charge at them. The closest them. is the Twi'lek guy. All right, and he's pink, you say? Yeah, he doesn't have any weapons. Does he look like he wanted to attack me? He looks like he wanted to order to attack you. I grab at him. Okay, you grab him by the throat and hold him up. I hold him up. How close am I to the opening? Uh, you're about 100 feet from the opening. You oh, okay, so really I came far. in and I got some distance in there, yeah. huh? Where's the nearest wall? Right behind you. Hey, Pinky! Bring I smash him up against the wall <laughs> with his face. To <laughs> kill him or to... Dude, looks like he wanted an order to kill me, so yeah, why uh, not? He might have been able to order the other two to not kill you, but now he's dead. Yeah, so he's dead. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. He... Die! Roll for intimidation with advantage. All right, six. The Gamorreans look at each other, turn around, and start walking away. I quick draw my bowcaster. Mind you, I didn't have my weapon on me, so... Uh-huh. Woohoo! Let me shoot. Two. Okay, go ahead and roll for damage. Okay, so that's a D10. Six. You shoot him in the back, uh-huh. he falls over, and the other one turns around, squeals... And, what?! And I yell that back. He rushes at you. Yeah! <laughs> for... He ooh, comes six. at me. <laughs> he is really pissed. He manages to crit... 12 damage. You could oh. use a soak to try and uh, nullify that. Okay, I'll use a soak, but how many soak do I have, though? Uh, we'll just say that you have one. Okay, so I use that one. Eat it, KJ. <laughs> you manage to catch uh-huh. his axe before it hits you. Oh, nice. And now? And now you can either blast him at point blank. I'm gonna shoot him! At point blank range. At point blank! <laughs> okay. And I get bonus! Yep. That's a crit. Mm-hmm. I crit on threes, and let's see, I got real damage. Seven, so times two. Times two. Plus ten. Plus ten. So that's... Plus uh, another one. Tw- Twenty-five. Plus. You blast his head clean off, and all you smell is uh, charred bacon. Mmm, bacon! I love bacon. Come here, piggy! We go after the other one. <laughs> okay, he is crawling away, squealing in fear. I shoot at him. Go ahead. I totally miss. Okay, he is going to continue to run away. Okay. But he's going to turn and see if he can swing at you, too. Mm-mm. He throws his axe at you, and it just bounces off your armor. You suck! Jesus, <laughs> <Jeez>, why? <laughs> you miss again. All right. What's this guy do? Now he's disarmed. He threw his axe at me. 
He pulls out a tiny blaster and fires for four. That hits. Okay. For three damage. All right. So that puts me strain zero. I shoot at him some more. Six. Six. Where do you want to aim? I shoot him in the head. Okay. His head explodes just like his brother. Bacon! Now you can move on deeper into the castle. I'm looking. Perception. Five. Six, seven. Okay, you hear screaming and fighting and battling. Apparently, the slaves are revolting here as well. Excellent! I follow the noise! Okay, you open the door. You see a large, dead Chevin. They look kind of like elephants, but without trunks. Okay. Really big, old. And he has a massive wound to the back of his head. And you see several various people. And they are all fighting against all of these mercenary types, slashing them and killing them. Excellent. I join into the fray. <laughs> I, wait, before I join in, I'm going to switch out my bowcaster. For my replay. Okay. Everyone's pretty much engaged right now. I know. In melee? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. So you'll get advantage to hacking off anyone. Yes. I want that. But make sure that you're aiming at ones who aren't the slaves. Right. That's why I didn't want to shoot at them, because yeah. I could hit them. Mm-hmm. All right. There we go. And I'm going to go join the fray with my Viper Rake blade. Okay. Turn that puppy on. <laughs> and I go charging into the first mercenary. Head, arm, leg, stomach. Back. I want to see if I can expose the spine. Mm. Mm. Yes! Crit. Three, that's six, seven, seventeen. Okay, this particular weak way is wrestling with a green Twi'lek. You slash him right down the spine. His lungs and heart are exposed. Yes. He is wrestling with this Twi'lek and loses the wrestle for a strange polearm-like <laughs> device. Uh-huh. The Twi'lek spins around and smashes the polearm device on his head, and his head explodes in a huge blast of gravity. It's a gravity hammer. So, so he's dead. Yay! <laughs> So, I am enjoying this. I am seeing and reveling in the fact that the slaves are attacking. And I'm going to go for the next guy. Okay. Next I see. There is a Nikto trying to hide behind the corpse of a dead Ardalan. Big blue elephant thing. I had it. It's a crit. <laughs> Roll for damage. Eight times two. Two is 16, plus one is 17. Plus another plus 10. 10. That's 27. You, oh, you stab right through the Ortolan's head, thus cut off the Nikto head behind it as well. Yes. Two for one! Well, the Ortolan was dead already. It doesn't matter. <laughs> All right, what's next? Well, there are a lot here, but uh, roll for perception. I got, that's coming, that's four total. You notice that this huge flat throne Mm -hmm. is empty. Mm. Mm. The hut is gone. So, would you care to investigate? Did they leave some slimy residue behind when they move? This particular one does, because he almost never moves. So, he's got a bunch of bed sores that are leaking. Ew. Yeah, so So I look look for that. You smell. I smell for that. (laughs) You find that... Four. Goes straight back into the wall. Ooh. Into a wall? Yeah, there's apparently a secret passage there. Okay. The green female Twi'lek rushes over and pulls a little wall fixture. Mm-hmm. And the wall opens, and she gestures you in. I flash her a smile, a nod, and I walk in gleefully. Mm-hmm. <laughs> In there, you see the huge, hulking hut slithering along, trying to get up this spiraling ramp. You see his tail leaving, and he is yelling something in Huttese at other things around him. And a pair of battle droids, IG models, mm-hmm. like IG-88. Okay. And start shooting at you. All right. They are going to roll only one of them crit. Okay. And it was the one that rolled two, so you only got four damage. Okay. So, go ahead and either fire or slash at them. I'm gonna quick draw my bowcaster and shoot. Gonna dash around? Yeah. Okay, you dash around, you manage to make a crit. Yeah. And... Four. Okay. So four times two is... Eight. Eight. Then plus two because you're out of strain. And then plus ten. So, eight, nine, ten, twenty. Twenty. You blast him away, and the other one is pretty damaged. Okay. He is going to now try to roll to swing at you. Actually, no, to fire. Four. He hits. Six damage. So that puts me at nine. 
And I fire back. Great. Okay, he's dead. And a huge shard of him goes flying and stabs into the hut's tail. The hut screams in pain mm -hmm. and continues slithering away, now leaving a blood trail. All right. There's I just go the after hut. him. Okay. I switch to my vibro blade, right blade, and I charge it. Go ahead and roll to see if you hit. No. He manages to pull his tail out as okay. your blade catches just the rock. Okay. Go ahead and roll for damage again. Five. That's a crit. And let's see. 20. He screams, and he is going to try and take a swing at you. Swing with the tail. Yeah, you can either grapple the tail or dodge it. I dodge it. Okay. I cut him again. All right, it hits. Three. All right, he's bleeding more, and he is going to try and body slam you. Okay. <laughs> Five. He does. Yeah. And let's see how much damage he does. Roll a d10. Eight. Okay, he does eight damage to you. I'm at one. My turn? Uh-huh. I hit him with a crit. You slash open his blubber. Uh-huh. He is screaming now in pain. Uh-huh. And he is inching away from you. Okay. And is trying to say something in Huttese, but you don't understand it. Mm -hmm. And he yells and yells, and a translator droid shows up. Okay. Do you... I want to hear what he said. Okay. The great Bubba the Hutt says that his family will never let you leave, never let you know a moment's peace if you continue to harm him. I continue to hack. This time I got a crit. Six times two is 12, plus four is 16, plus 10 is 26. How would you want to do this? I shove my blade into his head and I move it back and forth as it's on and it's vibrating and evaporating its freaking head into his brain. Okay, and with final death spasms, you killed the great Bubba the Hutt. Not to be confused with... Not Bubba. to be confused with his Cousin. twin brother <laughs> who was on vacation. Okay, so now I'm like with one hit point left. I look for med packs. Anywhere. Everywhere. <laughs> well, there aren't any. However, you could continue on to where Bubba was going. You clearly had some kind of escape plan. Where was he going? Up to the roof. And... And there is a small escape pod there. I take it. Yay. I'm alive. <laughs> All right, and I fly out of there. Well, the escape pod is just a big jump. Uh, you can program it to go. Uh, I want it to get me back to town if I can. Okay. It does that. Okay. It lands... You see the town is still smoking a little bit, uh -huh. but all of the fighting seems to have died down. Okay. Tucker and Cappy and Z3 all come up to you and uh -huh. are very happy to see you. Oh, good. I'm happy to see them. They see that I'm a bloody mess, right? Yes. They, they immediately <laughs> take you to the inn to get you patched up. <laughs> okay. Let's say you pass out. Son of a... Okay. And after two days of sleep, you are finally back to full health. Yay. <laughs> and I check on the progress. How are they been? Well, several slavers have been killed. Excellent. And Z3 has found his old family. Okay. He's okay. back with them. They're very happy to see him. Okay. And they have adopted Treadwell as well. Oh, fantastic. I'm so happy. Tucker is currently in charge of the jerky. Very good. I knew he would go to big play. He would he would reach new heights, and, and I'm glad he's there. I'm mm -hmm. glad he's there. An entrepreneur. And now that the Tuscans are dead, he is continuing to be a negotiator, but he is blaming everything on the huts. As he should. Mm -hmm. As he should. You know, as, as he should. Find a scapegoat. Stay mm -hmm. with the scapegoat. <laughs> yep. That, that's a perfect one. A lot of the slaves, including the ones from Jabba's Palace, have been waiting outside to see you. They just want to thank you personally. Oh. They uh, have made a huge feast for you. Oh, fantastic. And some of them are asking in hushed tones if you're part of the Rebel Alliance. I haven't quite thought that one out yet. Mm. <laughs> it's why? Why you ask? Well, we were wondering if... Uh, for a lot of us, there's really no place here. We were hoping maybe we could help out there. I mean... Sure, I'll start a recruitment drive. So, now that everything's taken care of... Oh, and also uh, Z3. Z3. He and uh, his family come up to you and present you with a pair of 
specialized sunglasses. <gasps> I got shades. These are very special shades, which make you completely immune to flash grenades. Yay! Sunglasses. Special sunglasses that allow... Oh, man, I'm going to wear those every day. Mm-hmm. Sweet enemy bank. Yeah, they the sunglasses are forged from very uh, very rare minerals on Tatooine. Oh, nice. Okay, special sunglasses. Mm -hmm. And let's just say that he also made a pair for Adriatica because she, she flies around. Mm -hmm. you keep the sun out of her eyes so she doesn't miss. Yeah. Now she has no excuse. Who taught you how to shoot? <laughs> you feasted. Do you want to call down Adriatica to let her feast too? I think about it. <laughs> Fine. She lands the Y-Wing, and... You only get takeout. None of this I'm going to sit down and eat. She's very pleased to hear about your recruitment drive. <laughs> Is she also a rebel? Yes, she's, oh, okay, she's good. an official rebel. She's a liaison then for them. Good. Yeah. Talk to her. Okay, she starts filling out all the paperwork to arrange for... Is there a recruitment fee or, or a finder's fee or... <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Uh, you will probably... Right now I just made bank just from killing slavers. You know, mm -hmm. it's great. You will probably have access to a lot more weapons later. Yeah, because I'm bringing in the bodies. Mm-hmm. Oh, I know this is particularly for you. Would you care to collect any skulls? Ooh. All, of, all of the Tuscan Raiders were burnt to a crisp, huh? Yeah, and huts don't have bones. I know. <laughs> Take an eyeball in a jar. Yeah, an there eyeball. There we go. I see you! <laughs> Why? Why not? I can't carry anything else of his. You go back to the Rebel Alliance, and they, they are... They in for a big space bus. Actually, let's just say that there was a spaceport there, and it was run by slavers. So mm -hmm. let's say that all of the ones who want to go take the space shuttle they have there okay. and follow you back to the Rebel Alliance. Fantastic. I went for a walk. A very enthusiastic walk. A very enthusiastic walk. walk. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I think that is it for our adventure. I think that's enough for today. Okay. Woo! So. So. Like, after I was done dealing with the hut, mm -hmm. Tucker went back and took the gaffy stick and shoved it in the hut's, uh, I guess, chest cavity. Oh, thank God. Mm -hmm. And pretty much we tried to frame the Tuscan Raiders over that little action. <laughs> Did it work? Mm -hmm. <laughs> that, that's my question here. Like you Again, you gave them your real name, and you pissed off one of the biggest, most notorious crime families in the galaxy, and you're, you're not worried about that at all? No. Like, not even a little? No. But what if they... Well, what if they... Uh, I, I just, can't argue with that, I guess. I would like to ask a question about flying. Uh -huh. That I like. We should trade hang gliding tips. stuff, like tips and secrets and preferences. Do Ewoks hang glide? Oh, yeah. We're like, we're great at it. <laughs> we know all about it. <laughs> Me and judging, judging from your tails, Ewoks are great at most things. That's, uh, they don't well, have tails. True. <laughs> no, tails, A, L, O. Oh, okay. They're stories. -E stories. The I'm, lore. I've been a little curious. Uh -huh. Do Shistabins have tails? No, no. Which is good because I I'd be a much worse liar if you did. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, no, I totally hate you. Wag 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 wag. Um, here's a here's my question. What was the name of that guy you ran into who pointed you toward Tatooine, Luke or something? How much does this guy hate his hometown? He was just like, oh, it's the person equivalent of a machine gun. Let's uh, point it this way. <laughs> how do you know he's from there? I mean, didn't he say he was? No. Uh, well, he said he wasn't specifically from that town. He was from the planet. Mm. Semantics, semantics. Sure. <laughs> uh, that guy seems pretty lame. I, I don't think he'll be even involved in too many important things. <laughs> These, this thing that you killed. You know, it's funny. Ping Pong pointed out that you're you're much giddier in the story than, than we've really seen you. So basically, all we have to do to put you in a good mood is to let you murder a bunch of people who deserve it. And then you'll stop singing with us. Yeah, and then you'll join in the four hours. You know. Four hours. Yeah. The joy of it. Yeah. Right. Uh, we'll get well, you one we'll of these days. We'll get you one of these days. Yeah. One of these <laughs> days. Watch yourself. Okay, how about this question? How many no. people who deserved it would have to be beaten to death with these four oars for you to join in singing? 
That's I a guess va- we could holla, put a valid question. Yeah. That's a holla valid question. Oh. Mm. <laughs> Specifically, these three. <laughs> oh, you oh, like you us. Like oh, us. Like us. oh, he pretends to be angry, but he's just as goofy as we are. <laughs> and he <laughs> wears awesome the shades that cost more yeah. than my outfit. I did want to ask about those two cuts, like, I am sort of stylish, <laughs> as you probably know. <laughs> And the modesty, again, noting that again as well. You know what? Sometimes you got to advocate for yourself because no one else will do it. You know what? That's true. <laughs> now, you had questions about these hut characters. Oh, yeah. They're just like big blobs. What are they? They're more like slugs. Big slug blobs. Oh, sluggish. Giant, sluggish giant blobs. slugs. I know what a hut is, right? Yeah. Giant slugs. Yeah, and he kills a twin brother of one of the most notorious ones ever. And again, he's not even slightly worried about that. Well, we did just kill two giant slugs, but they're a little different. Yeah. Maybe we could kill some more of these giant slugs and... uh, What is with the bloodlust in this party? I don't know. I I don't really like to eat things that are bigger than me. Okay. Well, in the process of going back to the huts, I also went to the camp to see what was left of the Tusken Raiders. And? They were burnt. To a crisp. Really? Mm hmm. Wow. But I took some robes and stuff as souvenirs. Did you start a planetary civil war? All by myself. Sounds like you ended one. You started <laughs> and ended it. All by myself. You you threw I like, finished war. I started. like a war. Like you, people throw parties, but you threw a war. Yes, that's how I relax. <laughs> <laughs> Takes all kinds, I guess. <laughs> So I, I guess we're going to fight this war <laughs> with this like kawaii. Hala, this... Strong. <laughs> Strong. No, no. The story lasts so long that I'm actually kind of confused on what we're doing again. Do you mind recapping for us? Oh. Well, we are currently rowing across a cave lake. With to... four oars. Yes. Wait, what? What? With... No, shut it! We are trying to get to the kawaii to help them to fight the Imperial Army. And nothing can go wrong with this plan, you guys. Nothing at all. Nothing. Because you know what we've got? We've got our four oars. Four oars. Four oars. Four oars. Four oars. Ready? Can I tip One, over the, two, the, three, the four oars. Four oars. Uh, I wouldn't recommend it. This lake tends to have certain types of predators. So by us yelling this out, we're practically attracting them. That's a distinct possibility. Okay. Well, <laughs> wait, wait, guys. Lucky guys, thing we guys, already guys. did all that and we made it through just fine. Oh, We're oh, halfway. Oh, you said oh, that you boys. took oh, an eyeball. Perhaps that would shut them up. <laughs> so here it is. <laughs> ah! Oh, no! Ah! <laughs> I bet vomit also attracts things in the water. <laughs> <laughs> And then a giant snake splashes up out of the water, upending the entire <laughs> raft. We're back! Personal gear, Tucker. <laughs> I'm a translator, not a doctor. <laughs> Formalities later! Running now! Go, go, go! <laughs> okay, but if I die, I'm haunting your- Okay, you wouldn't be the first. I need your air support. My location. Got it, airstrike on your location. Coming in. I don't trust my pilot. Tucker, did you see lightning pee pee? Lightning pee pee! Pretty much <laughs> all, of, all of this guy's blood is now on the ground. Tucker! Did you see that? <laughs> I, I wish I hadn't, but. It, That's yeah. called the Kashyyyk Blossom! <laughs> Kill everybody on Tatooine. <laughs> nope, from orbit! You are not including me in that, are you? Bacon! Thanks for listening. To Weekend Star Warriors, I am your host and Game Master, John Icke. Star Wars was created by George Lucas and is owned by Disney. This game follows the basic rules of the Edge of the Empire role-playing game, and rule books are available for sale wherever books are still sold. Liliana Emerald was played by Megan Cordero. You can follow her on Instagram at Meganda88. Zizix Mac was played by Jeffrey Gardner. You can follow him on Instagram at Jeffa Plus. Ping Pong was played by Kat Johnston. You can follow her on Instagram at birdiecat82. McClaw was played by Edgar Cuevas. You can try to follow him, but do so at your own risk. Music by Megan Cordero. Effects by Jeffrey Gardner. And from soundboard.com. 
Special thanks to Mike Christensen, Medisa Cuevas, and Annalisa Didi Blancarte for use of her character, Adriatica Archipelaga. Please like, subscribe, and review, and we will release the next episode in a couple of weeks. Thanks for listening, and remember... Bacon!